So if I take a triangle and find its orthocenter, that's the intersection of the altitudes, and then I create three circles, each of which passes through two vertices of the original triangle and the orthocenter. So I've got these three new, tri new circles um, and I join their centers to form a new triangle. Then that triangle is congruent to the original and um, has its sides parallel. Let me draw my model. Um, here's my original triangle. Now, um, to find the author center, we need to intersect two altitudes. Um, so I'll create one altitude in one, one way. And we'll create another altitude the other way. And we'll intersect those two um, to find the author center. Now, I'm going to want to um, create um, the circumcircle, these three points. Um, I've got a convenient construction for doing that. Um, there we go. I want to circumcircle these three points, and I want the circumcircle of these three points. And now I'm interested in this triangle, uh, GHI, relative to the original one. Now, I did not put any constraints in. Usually, I, I like to use the length of the original, of the original triangle, but in this case, um, it turns out I'm going to be better off specifying coordinates. So I'll do that as simply as possible, specify A um, as at location 0, 0. Um, C will stick on the x-axis in arbitrary distance along. So I'll put that at A, 0. And B will put in an arbitrary location, B, C. So we could take any triangle and um, move it um, in order to, to fit these coordinates. Um, so now, given that, let's see what the coordinates of H, G, and H are. And the coordinates of H. Um, so, looking at that, we see first of all um, that the y coordinate, the y coordinates are the same, and so this line is horizontal, and so parallel to AC. Uh, secondly, we can see simply that the difference in um, x coordinates is uh, simply A, which is the length of AC. Um, now we could. Uh, uh, having proved the result from one um, side, we could say by symmetry um, of the triangle, there's nothing special about that side apart from the fact that that's how we lined the triangle up. Um, so the same result is going to be true for the other sides. We can check that if we want. I'll look at one of them. Um, let's have a look at the distance HI. Um, and the distance um, BC uh, that's the uh, original one well indeed um, if we're prepared to do a little bit of algebra we can see they're the same um, or we can just do this And for parallelism, we just need the angle between HI and BC. 
to zero.